Hello, everybody, and welcome back to PTFS. It has been a while since I have said those words. Anyway, there's another new update out, and I think I did miss a few updates. So we'll just go over them. Um, you can you can sort of tell what it is the Boeing seven two seven. So um, let's just get into this. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over with is the AN225, which I'm pretty sure I actually requested. I highly doubt they saw my video, but it would be cool if I did. And I'm pretty sure it was in this exact same place as well. It would be really cool if they added the, uh, what's it called? Antonov. Cause it's like, it's literally the biggest plane ever. So, um, let's go over this. So, if we just hop into the pilot seat, this is what the cabin, lo the cockpit looks like. Pretty cool, if you ask me. And something that's also very cool. Oh, so we have got all the engineers, the four engineer seats, and then we've got. It's not. It's not too much, but it's still a very big improvement. Not well, actually. Oh, whatever. So yeah, we've got some seats here and uh, whatever that is. And this is what the um, this is what the inside looks like. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's very cool. I did not know that happened. Okay, that's actually that's actually new to me. I didn't know that was animated. Okay, so as you can tell now that there's animated stair doors, stairwell door things. So obviously, um, six engines, biggest plane in the world. And let me just check the controls. Um, nose open slash close. And this one, we have an animation for as well. Which is very nice. Um, we don't. We sadly don't have a landing gear animation, but that's sort of acceptable as it would probably be a pain to animate all of those, and the fact that the community would probably not like if only one plane had the animation. Also, don't that, don't mind the bottom of my avatar just sticking out. So yeah, as you can see, they, they actually did put a lot of detail into this. So we've got this coming up there and then the landing gear squatting down and then the uh, ramp going down there. And I, I am pretty sure if I can remember correctly, you can actually drive planes, uh, not planes, uh, you can drive um, stuff into the into the cargo bay. So if I grab the, uh, this might not work actually, but if I grab the fuel truck, I should be able to just drive it into there. I think. Oi, oi, oi. I'm just gonna keep the AN225 pretty short. Oh, you need a lot more speed because some of you might already know about it. So yeah, there it is. Um, it does fall out the back if you go too far. Yeah, as you can see there. And if it if it's moving, then just make sure to not get out of the thing. Like you have to make sure it unsquats before getting it. I I can't really explain it. And you probably know this, but they re-added missions, which I, I did talk about in a lot of my videos. Um, and there is the mission counter here. As you can see, not much people really do missions anymore. And um, don't mind the amount of flight minutes I have in this game. I, I swear I have a life. Anyway, moving on to the 727. Um, there is a, I'm not sure if I said that, but for the AN225, we have white and then the 
I'm not going to even try and pronounce that. So for the Boeing 727, we have cargo, three liveries there, um, sus. I, I, I completely forgot about the scuffed um, livery names. And then we have the normal vari variation where we have Air Canada, Air France. Um, I honestly don't remember the original name. Americano, Delta, British Airways, Pan Am, Condor, United, I think, Qatar, Southwest, maybe? I'm not sure. Northwest, I think. Lufthansa, Korean Air, um, Air Iberia, <laughs> Emirates, Singapore, and Turkey. Uh, Turkish Airlines, even. I, I'm really struggling with these, um, with these names. So, let's look at the Air Americano, why not? So this is what the outside looks like. Very fancy schmancy. So this is also coming out for Project Flight. So they actually beat them and beat Project Flight in terms of that. So let's look at the cockpit. Looks very, very nice. It's a lot better than the old cockpits, I do have to say. I'm not sure if I'll have a video of it, but um. You can just look on my channel. Um, there's still very bad videos, but you will see the old cockpits. So yeah, that is a big improvement. And here is the cabin, fully seated, um, two by two rows. Oh yeah, and one last thing. This is animated as well, the back stairwell, which is very nice. So um, let's go take this for a test flight okay um here we are lined up on the runway i also noticed that it does feel like we are a little tall it's probably it's probably just because of the um way the windows are shaped but i also did notice there is five flaps which i'm not sure is the same on every plane in this game so i'd say that's i'd say that's like 60 degrees flaps like that's definitely more than 45. Anyway, um, let's test out to see what this takeoff speed is. That's the engine sound there. I don't know. I don't. I couldn't tell you if that's normal or not. So around uh, 130 to 100, 135 to like 145, I'd say is around about what the um, takeoff speed is. So um, let's just test out the handling to see if it handles like, if it actually handles properly. Okay, yeah, yeah, it does, it does handle properly. I don't think I'll try, oh. I may as well just try to see what advanced mode is like yeah obviously advanced mode probably isn't as realistic in terms of how quick it turns but um yeah let's just head back to home base but not home base but the airport and land this thing top speed is 500 it's very quick actually 500 and 50 knots, I'd say. So it's a very quick plane. Anyway, let's uh, go back around and land this thing. I just remembered another update. I know you probably already know this because you, if you're watching this video, you have been playing for... You have probably played since that update. But um, as you can see down there, um, they added... Um, stadiums and they also added tunnels which I don't think I'll cover in this video because you probably already know to know about it and yeah okay here we are coming in on short final let's just try and see if we can butter this thing 
Also, tell me in the comments, does any of you guys use camera lock? I know you probably fly in the cockpit, so it doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to show you the landing from the outside so you can actually see, you know. Just a quick question. Anyway, we have a pretty good approach here. Also, I'd just like to mention... Um, why is there a road there right on approach? 50, 40. I, like, there's got to be some noise complaints there. 30. Twenty. Ten. Oh, that was butter. No, 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 it wasn't. Cause, cause the smoke went off when I didn't actually touch the ground. How wonderful. <laughs> anyway, um, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out the update for yourself you can just go on to roblox if, and play this game if you don't already have a roblox account which i assume i presume you do because why would you be looking at an update video and um, just make one and yeah um uh, i'd like i'd also like you to put in the comments what game you you would like me you would like to see me play because I have been playing a lot of different games recently so it might be annoying for you guys for you guys who might w like to watch one particular type of videos video that I make but then I just make other videos <coughs> but um yeah that was it from me I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one. Good. Bye.